Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 5 of So You Want to Play. So, in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Cataphract. Now, Cataphract is an interesting one. So, you have very high armor, obviously with 45, health standard, movement speed is 73 on the ground, so it's terrible, and 7 plus 1, so only 8 horses total, so you have to be really careful with your menu. But nevertheless, they're very, very strong. So, we have the Kontos, which has 230 length. It's, it's pretty incredible. So, you can't actually do couch lance damage with it, but you can just thrust with it, and it does good damage and has really good length. Uh, the horse is obviously good. And so, in terms of equipment, we have the Agile Horse, which sacrifices only a little bit, like one like one charge damage in exchange for a lot more uh, mobility. So I would always recommend this for the for your first option. Not really another choice. You have the Kontos, uh, the bow and arrow, which can be fun, and the small shield. But uh, since we're against Kuze and they have Lancers, I'm just going to run the Kontos because I want that range advantage. Follow me! So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go straight to A. I uh, hope our guys end up taking C. Yeah, generally if you're if you're cav, you can just do a generic play for um, a generic play just to take uh, a. But I'm gonna actually kill this horse archer. Nice, I stabbed my own horse. That was foolish of me, but I, I don't really care. Yeah, so I gotta I gotta go for these horse archers if I can actually take this point. Yeah, I, I should have picked up some free kills there. I'm gonna go chase these horse archers down now. This will be my objective. I'm much faster than them. My horse is much better. And they obviously have terrible melee, so... I'm disappointed I missed that. Could have been a free kill. Every kill counts here. Their swords do essentially no damage. It's just kind of embarrassing how little they do. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep keep fighting here in close proximity. Just the armor difference, like I did nine to my teammate there, so. Just the armor difference alone, uh, they don't really have a chance here. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep following them. Just keep stabbing, just keep dealing damage. And strike. Yeah, so these mounted um, archers really don't have anything they can do against me. Pretty pretty terrible overall, I must say. So yeah, I'm just going to keep stalking and just wasting time. If I can just kill these eventually, I am doing my job. And I haven't even lost anyone yet, so you can see the cataphracts are very, very powerful. Missing the uh, shot there, unfortunately. Nice, okay. Let's get the kill there. Let's get the kill there. Don't like these archers, they're a bit annoying. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and engage this infantry squad here, just run them over. Look how much trample damage I did there. Lots of twos, threes, fives. Wow, okay, I almost got hit there. I was not paying attention, but I got the little juke maneuver down, so I'm gonna run through them again. I like that, I like that a lot. And I, I gotta just kind of burn the horses here because you don't wanna be the last horse guy left doing nothing, so help out where you can. Just run through and damage them. Now, I also have a tactic I'll show you probably next round where I take a shield basically and just shield wall through them over and over again to just keep gathering up trample damage. And it, it proves pretty effective in a lot of situations. So, dang it, you actually killed one of my cataphracts there. See if I can get the pick here. Nice, got the mounted archer, always appreciate that. You also wanna keep moving because guys and horses will get lances and just kind of keep uh, they're just gonna keep like running after you and, and killing you. So it's, it's, you gotta make action eventually. So that's why I'm gonna keep running and that's okay. I got a horse, not a big deal in this situation. They also need the point, which they're not going to take, so.
the 15 damage to that rat. Well, that's actually insane. Yeah, when they have low armor, the trample damage these cataphracts do is crazy. And I will say, that is uh, a big advantage to actually um, going going with the um, not the agile horse because you can take advantage of um, oh nice I like that trade but you can take advantage of the uh, of the little bit extra charge damage and the health it's only five more health you get one more charge damage but you can take advantage of it and uh, get a little bit more out of bang for your buck when you do the charge so. I suspect they'll go more infantry, it would make sense. So I'm gonna switch to the shield, sacrifice some range, and go ahead and, you know, I will probably, yeah, I'm gonna get the cavalry mace and get the uh, extra charge damage there. So this is my loadout I generally use just to batter through infantry. So I'm actually going to hold here for now. I'm gonna take C and I'm gonna come back because I don't want to get stuck in here. It's quite easy to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the point and then get out of here. And if they take it back, so be it. It's not really an issue. Can't really tell if they're coming this way. Make a shield wall. Follow me. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell them to follow me now. It looks like they're not coming C, so certainly take advantage of the situation. Alright, yeah, so my cataphracts are coming in. You can shield wall, and of course, shield wall and a horse, no one cares because they'll hold their shields up permanently, but there's no movement penalty, so this is like the one situation in which I could actually recommend uh, keeping a shield wall up on horses. And it is for a very specific purpose. Uh, I'm, about, I'm hopefully about to show here. So even if they have spears, uh, I'm gonna run in here and basically just keeping a shield wall and just run into them. I don't even care about actually um, stabbing them. It's kind of irrelevant. It's just about going in and just running over infantry and then rinse repeat it just over and over and over again. Like right there, right there. Look at that great damage. Just gonna keep running them over and then the infantry hopefully will take like one less shot to kill the enemy, so. It's, it's good, but these are spear infantry, obviously, so it's not like this is going to be <laughs> a foolproof plan here. But uh, the, the weakness here is if the horse dies. Because they're shield long, there's no risk the cataphract is actually going to die. You just won't get hit. There's no hitbox there. But um, I can just keep running in here. It's pretty effective, as you can see. Just keep hitting them over and over and over again. Don't even need to worry about swinging. It's not an issue. I'm going to avoid these guys. I need some... You need a little bit of infantry support just to get them out of spears because if they have a mace actually, they'll switch when it's infantry and then I can run them over like this. So it's a, a neat little thing if you didn't know. They'll switch to spears if your horses and they'll switch to the mace or the sword if you're melee. So you can certainly take advantage of the situation. Yeah, and so they're the only ones left. So I'm just going to charge and just get out of it, get in the line. So it doesn't really matter at this point. I just go fish for kills. Yeah, certainly not anywhere near the top of the lobby, but 23 and 4, taking really efficient trades, and that damage is the untold hero of this. So, that's. They're not telling you about that damage, obviously. I did. If we had a damage output, uh, some kind of log for that, <laughs> knock him over. Nice. But, uh, if we had a damage log for how many guys I trampled, I, I think the results would be uh, pretty impressive. So. Let's see here. This guy is going to run away and, and drag out the game, so. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and kill him and didn't even lose a single cataphract there, so. That's something we can appreciate. And as you can see, even against the spear infantry, if you can manipulate them, let the uh, infantry come in, get them out of their spears, you can run straight into them. I do 8, 9, 10 damage in our charge because I have the, uh, a bit of the tougher horse that does more damage. Against the Ravel, I do like straight up 15 or 16. That's almost like, that's like half a sword hit just for running into them with the horse. And you compile it up with 4 or 5 hits, you get them down to like 1 hit territory. So, it's really excellent and I'm going to just go around and take, 
see one more time. Cav archers, I will destroy, so I hope I can face them in battle. I, I would like that a lot. Now, if he shows up over this ridge, I'm gonna camp here. If he shows up, I'm gonna have to charge him. I don't think he's coming for A. Okay, he is coming for A. Okay, dang, so lost one there. Hopefully I can uh, get the hit here. But... Okay, yeah, this guy's just trolling the crap out of me. He's, he's, he's just kind of being a little bit of a prick here, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mug him. He just needs to go away. He's just doing this generic little trash that a lot of horse players do, and it's it's a waste of time. I must say though, it, it's quite annoying not having access to my horse, so I had to kill one of these guys and steal his horse and get out, so. Yeah, I'm going straight for his horses because I know he's camping them. So I'm going to take advantage of the situation. Miss there. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, shield wall into these, um, these, uh, these, uh, excuse me, the Khan's guard and destroy them. Lancers here, make work of them with the uh, cataphracts, obviously. Now, I'm gonna run into these archers again. And get a stab in here, and we're gonna run them over. Ran into a wall there. Nice. Let's keep getting these stabs. And kind of same procedure here. Missed there. Yeah, I don't know where this guy is camping, but uh, he's kind of a waste of space. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. Nice. Just keep picking off Lancers. I don't care. You can take out my horses, and you tell my men to mount, and they can actually remount horses like that jank one over there. So it's uh, don't you don't want to just. Uh, give up on your guys. They will find horses and remount if you actually tell them to. The command does work properly, so that's something to think about. And I'm gonna go ahead and just charge here at this point. So, yeah, really clean game with the cataphracts. You're never gonna get top of lobby uh, by any means, I, I will say. You're just gonna support your team and do a lot of trample damage, so you can't expect your KD to be anything special. What you can expect is to, if played properly, pick off some good kills and do some good. But yeah, 32 and five with catch, five deaths in three rounds. So insane kill to death ratio there. Never gonna get top of lobby, but really good supporting as you can see. I really love the um, heavy horse and shield combo to just batter them down and let the infantry get the kill. But yeah, that's about it for this episode. See you guys next time.